everybody. Let's get started. My name is Daniel Connolly, and I am pro-life, and that is what my speech is going to be about today. My goal is going to be threefold. First, to convince you and persuade you to hold the pro-life point of view if you are not pro-life. Second, to encourage you to have more vigor and passion for the viewpoint if you are pro-life. And third, to give you statistics and information to argue the legality of abortion. I've been researching this topic on and off for the past several years, and now I'm going to give some of my information to you. Hundreds of abortions occur every day, everywhere, in every state, in every city. Life is a precious gift that all of us have been granted, yet it is a gift that many of us have been denied. We must know that life not begins just at birth, but at conception, and that abortion doesn't only affect the mother and the child, but others as well. I'm going to talk about three main points today. First, the stages of growth during pregnancy. Second, the reasons women usually have abortions. And third, the effects that it has on society. So first, let's talk about the stages of growth. You should never undervalue a baby who has not yet been born. It was Dr. Seuss who said, after all, that a person is a person no matter how small. So let's talk about what life actually is. The Webster's Dictionary defines life as the ability to grow, change, that separates plants and animals from things like water and rocks, the period of time when a person is alive. Well, how do we usually tell that a person is alive? Usually by their pulse. And a pulse is caused by a heartbeat. Well, a baby's heart starts to beat about 21 days after conception. And that's right around the time that a woman usually finds out that she's pregnant. Would you end a heartbeat? According to the British Medical Journal, the second month, the face, fingers, and toes are forming. In the third month, facial expressions and vocal cords, and the baby can feel pain. In the fourth month, hair starts to grow, and the mother can feel the baby in the womb. Some have even been seen sucking their thumbs in ultrasounds. In the fifth and sixth months, they can hear sounds and can survive a premature birth. And in the seventh, eighth, and ninth months, everything is developed and the baby now just needs to grow. So now let's talk about the reasons that women usually have abortions. According to Human Life International, statistically the top five reasons women give are as follows. I am not ready for a child. Two, I can't afford a baby right now. Three, I have completed childbearing. Four, I don't want to be a single mother. And five, I am not mature enough to raise a child. According to Operations Rescue, this chart shows that 93% of abortions are a personal choice or inconvenience. 4% are due to a mother's health, 2.5% the baby's health, and only 0.5% are due to rape and incest. It was Mother Teresa who said, It is a poverty to decide that a child must die so that you may live as you wish. So next, let's talk about the effects that abortion has on society. J.R.R. Tolkien quoted that even the smallest person can change the course of the future. In America, on average, there are 4,791 abortions per hour. Ronald Reagan quoted in 1982 that I've noticed that everyone who is for abortions has already been born. What might have those children have been? Could they have been the next president of the United States? Could they have been the doctors who would have already found a cure for cancer? We don't know because they haven't been given the chance at life. So now I want to tell you a little story. Years ago, there was a young couple who was not married who became pregnant. They were going to have an abortion, but then they decided not to. Decided to go through with the pregnancy and put the baby up for adoption. So they did, and the baby was born and adopted by a loving family, and the child grew up to have a, get married and have a big family of his own with nine children. Well, he was my father, and had it not been for his mother deciding to go through with the pregnancy, I would not be here giving you this speech today. So now let's recap what we talked about. First, the stages of growth. We learned that the baby's heart starts to beat 21 days after conception. Second, that the reasons are usually self-centered. And third, that the effects are astronomical. Children are given to us as a gift. We must embrace that gift. Let us not deny children the chance to be who they were meant to be. Let us not deny them the precious gift of life. 
I am Daniel Connolly, and I am pro-life. Are you? I have some visual aids up here, some handouts, some bumper stickers, some books over here, and some other literature. You're welcome to come up and take a look at it. Are there any questions? No? All right. Thank you all very much.